Once you browse through Google Basic Search and look through the searches related to sections, people also ask, and top stories, and you gather a list of keywords and terms that will help you find more precise, focused information on a topic, then you can use those terms in Google Advanced Search. You can use Google Advanced Search um, by scrolling down and under settings, there is a link to advanced search. You can also find it on the results screen. So if I had first amendment college campuses, under settings, there's also a link to advanced search. And you'll see once you're in advanced search that you have a lot of other um, boxes where you can narrow your search. Uh, so for example, the all these words box, you would use that for when you need the results to contain a word. Uh, each word you type into that box have to appear on each web page result. And so the more words you type in, the less results you're going to get. So I might type in the word code, and I might also type in the word laws. So this exact word or phrase box, that is where if you have a phrase, you can type it into the box. You can only type one phrase into that box, and the phrases should be short, not an entire sentence. So usually two to three words maximum. So I might type in First Amendment. Unlike all these words, any of these words will get you more results. So this is where you put things like synonyms. Um, so only one of those words have to appear on each of the search result web pages in order for it to be displayed. So if you have synonyms for your topic, like university means the same thing as campus, means the same thing as college, that is where you would use this box. Any of those words can appear. All these words, every single one of those words have to appear. None of these words. Um, I use this sparingly, but if you have a teacher that says you can't use um, wikis or you can't use blogs, um, those might be some terms that you pull in there. Um, if you didn't want your website to have to deal with hate speech, um, you could put that in a none of these words box. If you are wanting to find websites within a particular year range, you could use the numbers ranging from box. So for example, if I wanted the websites to be current, I could put 2014 to 2017 in that box. Uh, if you only speak one and read one language, then you might want to limit to only websites that are written in the English language, for example. Um, last updated, um, I use numbers ranging from instead because this one only finds websites that have been published within the past year. So unless you have to have very current websites, I tend not to use that. Site or domain, if you only want educational websites, you can list that there. If you only want um, government websites, you can put that. If you only want websites from the Northwest Missouri um, website on that topic, um, you can get very specific with your site or domain. You can only put one site in this box though, so you can't put edu and gov, you just have to pick one. If you um, are maybe an educator, then you may want to look at the safe search box. So you're filtering out explicit information, um, file type if you only want PowerPoints or um, PDF documents, etc. You can limit there. So there's all kinds of choices there. And then when you hit advanced search, you should have much more precise results.